Why do we meditate? Because of suffering. And we realize that the real suffering is weighing down the mind comes from inside. If the real cause were coming from outside, we'd spend all our time running around with our eyes wide open. But to look inside, it's good to keep your eyes closed for the time being, so you can pay full attention to what's going on in the mind. As the Buddha says, you keep track, say, of the breath, and then you put aside greed and distress with reference to the world, every thought about the world, anybody else in the world. The world of your emotions, the world of your memories, the world of your anticipations. Put those things aside. Just be with what you've got right here, right now. Because what you are looking for is right here, right now. Years back I was reading a book that gave the answers to koans. There was one koan where the the teacher tells the student to put out all the remaining embers of a fire. And so the student pokes around in the embers, in the ashes, and doesn't find any embers. And the teacher says, ah, yes, but there is. And so he takes the tongs and he reaches right and pulls out one last burning ember. And I thought to myself, well, here's a koan I understand. The teacher tells the student to look for defilements, and the student can't find the defilements, but the teacher can point them out right away. Well, it turns out, according to this book, that the right answer was looking for your Buddha nature, which strikes me as a very useless interpretation of the koan. Because the Buddha himself, if anybody had the right to talk about Buddha nature, it would have been the Buddha. But he didn't. He did, though, talk about your defilements. And the defilements are like ghosts. The ghost looks in the mirror and there's nothing to see. You're looking for your defilements, it's awfully hard to see them because you're so used to them. So we learn how to stay here steadily and try to get really sensitive to the movements of the mind. And that's when we can see what's going on. You say, ah oh, yes, there are some burning embers in here, things that burn away at the heart. We take them as normal, but when you begin to see that they come and go, come and go, come and go, and you have the choice to go with them or not, that right there is the beginning insight. These things really do exist in the heart, in the mind, and they really do cause suffering. And then you can dig deeper to see, well, where do they come from? So this is why we close our eyes as we meditate. Because the problem is inside, and it's easiest to see when we're not distracted by things outside. Now, of course, we will have to be able to deal with these problems with our eyes open, too. But for the time being, give as much attention inside as you can, because the problem lies here. But the solution lies here as well. Oh, do I send Sharon?